First, you get the notification. Then, you hear the booms. Dias's Explosive Ordnance Disposal Team conducts live demolition training at least twice a month. While their training doesn't always involve explosives, it's important to know when they're going to go off. Explosives are very hazardous by nature, and it's hard to predict on what can happen whenever you set those off. So we have a big enough area cleared out, but we always recommend that people stay as far away from the area as they can. In case anything is to go wrong, we try and, and uh, mitigate the hazards and not let them get hurt. So we sit down with our shop leadership and we say, hey, this is the explosives that we have on hand, and this is kind of the training that we need this month. And we're going to do different precision shots or different examples, so that way we all can stay proficient on the different capabilities that we can use explosives for. EOD is also trained to handle chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear threats, improvised explosive devices, and conventional ordnance. To safely prepare for any demolition, training or real, all safety measures must be followed. Some of these precautions include eye protection, underground bunkers, and distance. Receiving notifications when the EOD range is active ensures those on dais and in the local community are aware of when EOD is conducting training. It's important for people to understand what's going on because explosives, things can go bad very quickly if you don't know what you're doing. So being proficient on handling explosives regularly and knowing what the hazards are, are really what's going to keep people safe. If you hear this shout, be sure you're at a safe distance away before